The next question, the member for Flamborough Glenbrook. Thank you, and good morning, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Speaker, we all know that Ontario is facing a housing crisis driven by a severe shortage of homes. The housing supply shortage impacts all Ontarians, regardless of where they live or their budget. But, Speaker, our government has made significant progress to build more housing for Ontarians who simply need a little bit of help. But unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, it seems that members opposite have trouble understanding the concept of supply and demand. So through you, Speaker, could the minister tell us how creating more housing will help Ontarians who are simply trying to realize the dream of home ownership? Thanks, uh, Speaker. And I want to thank the, uh, the member from flamborough glanbrook for her incredible advocacy uh, on the housing file. Uh, Speaker, our government is using every resource at our disposal to build more housing of all types, of all shapes and all sizes. Recently, I, uh, I made an announcement with the uh, Mayor of Vaughan that our government is providing surplus lands there uh, to a non-profit housing provider uh, at a location that is really, Speaker, it's a, it's a beautiful spot. Uh, it's ideal because it's close to amenities, to public transit. It really is going to be a, a wonderful development. We're also, uh, Speaker, not going to sit on our hands when it comes to surplus properties. We're making better use of them to be able to advance the priorities of Ontarians, uh, which was just exactly what that announcement in Vaughan was, was all about. We're also providing nearly $1.2 billion to our community and our Indigenous partners uh, to build thousands of supportive housing units and deliver on services in all corners of the province. I, I, I'm very excited, uh, Speaker, to hear the supplemental because I've got lots more that our government's doing. On this. Thank you. Supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker, and of course, we're all anxious to hear it. Speaker, our government continues to make historic investments in housing and homelessness. We are also making these programs more sustainable and efficient over the long term. We are ensuring that every single taxpayer dollar counts and is being put to its best use, unlike the wasteful previous Liberal government. One pillar of addressing housing is dealing with homelessness. So through you, back to the minister, how is that ministry and our government working to improve housing and homelessness programming? Great question. Thanks, Speaker. Uh, unlike the previous government that ignored the housing file for 15 years, our government is actually trying to improve the opportunities for housing supply in Ontario. And, and you know, Speaker, I'm going to be very interested to see how the members opposite vote on Bill 109 in a few yeah, moments. Yes. You know, oh, yeah, continually yeah. our government has brought forward very pragmatic, forward-thinking policies to get shovels in the ground faster. We realize, Speaker, unlike the opposition, that, that dealing with the housing supply crisis is a long-term strategy. It needs long-term collaboration and cooperation from all three levels of government. And I'll, I'll tell you something, Speaker, the official opposition and the Liberal Party are going to get their chance. They're going to get their chance to stand with us, to stand for that couple that wants to realize the dream of home ownership, that senior that wants to downsize. We've got to plan more homes for everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing the vote in a few minutes, Speaker.